Later today, a Roseville man will learn if he'll face charges, charges after his dog mauled his mother and his mother's boyfriend. But this morning, he's telling his side of the story. Let's turn things over to local force Nick Monticelli. He's joining us live now in Roseville. And Nick, this man saying that this attack, not his fault. He's saying he wasn't being neglectful. His mom and his mom's boyfriend still in the hospital recovering after this attack. It was pretty vicious, but he says his dog Bruce is a pretty good animal. Never had any problems until this time and three weeks ago. This shows Suzette Lawton and Bruce, the retriever pit bull mix in much happier times. Now she is recovering in the hospital after Bruce attacked her and her boyfriend as she took him out of his cage. She pushed him down onto the ground. He came back up and then he bit her. Bruce clamped down on Robert's mom, forcing her boyfriend to jump in. Bruce then attacked the boyfriend. Mostly the arms and uh, the boyfriend, like he got a little bit in the ear, like a cut in the ear. Right. And it turns out this was not the first time Bruce became aggressive towards Robert's mom. Something similar happened three weeks ago. So after he bit my mom the first time, uh, I went to the store and I bought him a muzzle. Robert says he and his mother agreed they did not want to have Bruce put down. I mean, let's be real. I mean, it's, a, it's like a part of a family. But this time, Suzette and her boyfriend were seriously injured, needing multiple surgeries. And now Robert could face charges instead of just the ticket he received the first time. You know, I just don't understand what I did. I just owned a dog and he messed up. My dog's paid for it now. Bruce was put down after the second attack, but police say Robert didn't do enough to prevent it. Now he worries if he'll be able to help in his mom's recovery. They're going to come back here, and as long as I'm not in jail, I'll be taking care of them. So, But again, both are still in the hospital recovering. Roseville police say that when they got there, they actually had to tase Bruce just to get him to settle down and out of the way so they could tend to the boyfriend who was unconscious lying on the living room floor. We're live here at the Roseville Police Department. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Well, we just wish the mom and her boyfriend a quick recovery from this. It can be pretty traumatic. Uh, Nick, you had mentioned that Robert got a ticket uh, the first time mm -hmm. that this happened. What was this ticket for? Uh, he got two tickets, one for harboring a vicious animal, the second for having an unlicensed animal. As for these possible charges that could come from the Macomb County prosecutor, we don't know exactly what they will or could charge him with. In the meantime, uh, his mother is still recovering at the hospital and the mother's boyfriend as well. So we wish them well. Nick, thank you.